Munjwa has just returned home from the Feld with one of his children who oversees herding sheep, the only herd which remained in the family kraal following the devastating drought in the Kunene region. The recurring droughts left the grazing area severely barren, resulting in the death of most of his livestock, which was his only source of livelihood. At the age of 55 years and having lived a nomadic life, Munjwa and his wife realized that changing climatic conditions are no longer favorable, and this changed their outlook on life, deciding to uptake development opportunities such as education. In order to reap the benefits of education, Munjwa and his wife decided to send their children to school to learn and realize their potential of becoming someone in society and further help the family in the future. Oshimuhaka Primary School is one of the schools in the region that provides children with school meals on school days. When children eat at schools, they are able to concentrate and perform better. Already struggling with insufficient food at home to feed the whole family, Munjwa and his wife don't have to worry about budgeting for mid-morning meals as their children are provided with school meals at school. This freed up saving is used for other household related costs. <laughs> One of Munjwa's sons just arrived home from school, Oshimuhaka Primary School, one of the schools in the Kunene region providing homegrown school feeding to school children. During school days, children receive a mid-morning diversified school meal sourced from local smallholder farmers. These meals not only attract children to school, but also incentivize parents to send their children and keep them in school to learn. Faced with high levels of food insecurity at household level, for the majority of children in the Kunene region, school feeding is the only source meal that they rely on for the day. The school provides diversified school meals three days a week and two days a week children are provided with the fortified maize blend porridge. Okay. We were not surviving very well because we were, we were with hunger in the class. We are hungry, but we need to rise. Jongura is angry. He who punawa, oguche, gise maga mariwa angire na ko. Jongura magovi. No don't do don't putu. No imamba na kuleje. Imba imba kuda wa. Imba kuna. Kujamuna <laughs> Eyo kukuna katiti uliripo imba na yo uno utiti. Eka muno mba tero yo yo tenga no dosipe. No ndre play na ko, kona muata. 
Euto kuku na namba no hire tundi e kuku tu chenen. Oku jambi no mute na kwanje waru ngu no njombo no hoko poruaka nambo po po muru wa uanga. Eka eka kita poka kuni no karu wakati ti pumbi kuna po make becha. No umbat nata. No ukerota. Oku jamba mbi kuna po odo nyanga. No do miriva. No umbat nata chiva nao. No, no do roi pieta, no, no do green paper, no do sweet potatoes. Okuja no makunde, no do sweet potatoes. Okuja mbio mbimbira ndi thamo juwana. Muto mwede mbwa duko, uskole ya ndundu no ho. Uchive njina ngo kuja mbibe randitha wikuria, randitha kwa tere pa imwe. Okuja na imbaka randithi rekono ho vikebe jano. No do spinach, ah no, no 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 umbat nata, no kerota. Me mo no go chow chow ba na chie, na go chow na chie tu na na mane hita papa tu mbeno kana hita papa kule kana hita papa kule na te. O go chow tu tu na mo nyanda go chow chiri ve ve hita mo no, o chow na vi. Ayanye hina chimbi mo no kanya mbi nyanda tuisa go le vi kule mbi chuma mbi mo kanda go mbi tu tola go le vi nyoku. Aye madu anga tu muna kanya mbi kama mwe na na hana nyohe atu biso na jet. Namibian school fitting program, they most of the learners they benefit from it because most of the learners that are coming from home or those even that are accommodated here at school that are sleeping here, they don't eat in the morning. So once uh, once they eat that, they get satisfied and that helps them a lot because most of the learners when they are hungry they go they sleep they don't concentrate. Kunene region is one of the seven regions implementing homegrown school feeding program, a school feeding model designed to provide school learners with safe, diverse and nutritious food sourced locally from small holders. The purpose of the homegrown school feeding program is to provide school children nutritious, diversified, fresh and culturally appropriate school meals sourced from smallholder farmers link smallholder farmers to school feeding as a sustainable market. The multi-sectoral program is implemented by the Ministry of Education, Art and Culture. At a national level, a national task force has been established to coordinate the implementation of the homegrown school feeding program. Namibia adopted a decentralized procurement model whereby funds are transferred directly to schools to source from smallholder farmers from the local communities, thereby stimulating local economies and boosting agricultural production. While the program creates employment opportunities within communities, it also strengthens local food systems and brings about rural transformation. Today, a technical team from the World Food Programme, Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture and Namibia University of Science and Technology are visiting the region in order to provide oversight and guidance on the implementation of the homegrown school feeding programme. We have realized that there are people out there, smallholder farmers in the area, they, they have to produce but they don't have a market. So this program will be of, of, of utmost importance for the, for the school, which, which entails the learners, the teachers and the, the community in large. Because in, in the meantime, whilst we are feeding the learners, we are also reducing poverty, meaning we are creating job opportunities in the community. What we mean by diverse diet is that we get uh, different foods from the local smallholder farmer. Our vegetables, for example, we have cabbages here that we've got from the local smallholder farmer. And the, 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 the whole group of the vitamins that are arranged here, like your cabbages, your carrots, your butternut, what they're actually pro providing are your vitamins and minerals which the children require if they have to grow healthy and they're protected from all sorts of infections. And then we have a little bit of oil and if in a community people are pro producing their own oil, the smallholder farmers are producing oil, it would be ad advisable to buy from there because we use a small amount 
of the oil in the food preparation. And then we also have our carbohydrate, mainly the fortified maize blend that is uh, produced, that is given to all schools. And we use this to, pro, to, to cook our, our pap. Now, when it comes to nutrition, why we're emphasizing a diverse diet is to ensure that the children get all the nutrients that they require. They are growing children, and some of them are, it's the girl child who re requires a lot of other supplements like iron. And most of these will be obtained from the diverse diet that the children will be getting.